Pica is a condition of consuming objects or things not made for eating, with no significant nutritional value, and especially items made of tough or toxic material. This disorder also applies to the gastronomical craving of things that are not food. Pica is most commonly seen in pregnant women, small children, and people who may have developmental disabilities such as autism. Children eating painted plaster with lead may develop brain damage from lead poisoning. In addition to poisoning, a much greater risk exists of gastrointestinal obstruction or tearing in the stomach. Complications may occur due to the substance consumed. For example, lead poisoning may result from the ingestion of paint or paint-soaked plaster, tough fibers may cause intestinal obstruction, and toxoplasma or toxocra infections may follow ingestion of soil. A risk of eating soil is the ingestion of animal feces and accompanying parasites. Coprophagia or coprophagy is the consumption of feces. In humans, coprophagia has been described since the late 19th century in individuals with mental illnesses. Members of a religious cult in Thailand routinely ate the feces and dead skin of their leader, whom they considered to be a holy man with healing powers. Unlike in humans, pica in dogs or cats may be a sign of immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, especially when it involves eating substances such as glue, concrete dust, and sand. Although several theories have been proposed by experts to explain pica in animals, insufficient evidence exists to prove or disprove any of them. Research on eating disorders from the 16th to the 20th centuries suggests that during that time in history, pica was regarded more as a symptom of other disorders rather than its own specific disorder. Even today, pica, depending on context, behavior is a normative practice in some cultures as part of their beliefs, healing methods, or religious ceremonies. In the southern United States in the 1800s, geophagia was a common practice, where a person consumes earthly substances such as clay. This was exceptionally common among the impoverished West Africans enslaved in the southeastern United States, particularly the Georgia Belt. Kaolinite, the clay mineral contained in kaolin, became the active ingredient in drugs such as kaopectate and peptobismol during its earlier productions. Many medical practitioners use aversion therapy, where the patient learns through positive reinforcement which foods are good and which ones they should not eat. However, previous reports have cautioned against the use of medication until all non-psychogenic causes have been ruled out. Other non-medication techniques might include other ways for oral stimulation, such as gum. Foods such as popcorn have also been found helpful. Pica may lead to intoxication in children, which can result in an impairment of both physical and mental development. In 2013, a three-year-old boy was brought to hospital by his mother, who was concerned that he had ingested several small, spherical magnets. Abdominal radiographs showed two small, round rotty opacities consistent with the description of the magnets. No free air or other signs of ruptures were visible, but an attempt was still made to safely extract the magnets through the throat. However, the magnet had migrated beyond the reach of the endoscope. Given the child's unchanged clinical status of stable vital signs, no fever, no lethargy, and no abdominal pain, he was discharged home. His parents were educated on the signs and symptoms of intestinal perforation. After two days, the child was brought back to the children's hospital because he had not passed any magnets but now had abdominal pain. Radiographs showed that all three magnets had come together in his upper intestinal tract. One ball was in the last segment of the small bowel. The other ball was in the first segment of the colon or large bowel. Both magnets were burrowing through the lining and muscle layers of their respective segments of bowel, trying to reach each other and rubbing and causing friction to the internal tissues in the process. Later that day, he had high fever of 38.7 degrees Celsius and increased heart rate. Radiographs showed no changes in the position of the magnets. Laparoscopy was performed, which is surgery done from the outside of the body with protruding instruments. The procedure was successful and the child was discharged for days later. However, many children still end up dying due to internal bleeding and diarrhea, due to consumption of magnets that look like toys or colored like candy. Trichophagia is the compulsive eating of hair, also known as Rapunzel syndrome, as most of the sufferers are women. The syndrome is named after the long-haired girl Rapunzel in the fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. 
Trichophagia is sometimes associated with the hair pulling disorder trichotillomania. Since 1968, there have been less than 40 documented cases in the literature. This syndrome occurs when the trichobezoar, or hairball, reaches past the small intestine, and sometimes even into the colon, producing a long tail-like extension of hair. A 16-year-old girl in Lincolnshire, England, died from trichophagia. The teen lost consciousness on September 7, and she was taken to the hospital. Doctors said her gastrointestinal tract was in danger of being totally blocked, and her stomach was 80% full with hair. Humans are unable to digest hair so it kept accumulating, and she died shortly after admittance. In this medical case, a hairball had formed in her stomach, and had a tail that extends into the intestines. The large mass of trichobezoar can cause digestive problems, such as nausea and vomiting. In the teen's case, however, the hairball ultimately caused a condition called peritonitis, or inflammation of the lining of the abdomen. This condition can lead to body-wide inflammation that causes organs to shut down. It's possible that a trichobezoar could lead to an ulcer, or open sore, in the lining of the stomach. If the ulcer perforated the stomach, bacteria from the hairball could spill into the abdominal cavity, causing an infection and inflammation. Large trichobezoar can block a person's gastrointestinal tract, making it difficult for him or her to eat, and leading to malnutrition, and also cause bad breath. The masses of hair need to be removed surgically, and after surgery, patients typically need psychological treatment to address why they are eating their hair in the first place. But some people make their livelihood by intentionally eating inanimate items, not meant for consumption, though this is not scientifically classed as pica. The renowned illusionist, trickster, and sideshow aficionado, Todd Robbins, is perhaps best known for a trick that few people know how to do because it is very dangerous, called lightbulb eating. The American magician learned the trick from an old Coney Island sideshow performer when he was a teenager and since then he's eaten over 4,000 light bulbs. The only major injury he suffered while performing the trick is a broken tooth that exposed a raw nerve. The trick became the centerpiece of a very successful and very bloody off-Broadway spook show called Play Dead. John Faisal, a tailor in Williamsburg, New York, found an interesting way to bring in some extra money but his sideshow career didn't last long. Faisal also became a human ostrich in 1900 by swallowing metal objects whole, including nails, pocket watches, keys, and knives. Unfortunately, his time in the spotlight was short-lived because his digestive system wasn't able to fully digest the bits of metal he left in his stomach. His talent almost killed him in 1901, doctors had to cut him open to remove the metal objects he swallowed on stage, which included three watch chains, five hairpins, 12 horseshoe nails, three keys, a ring, and 128 pins. Somehow, he recovered, but returned to his old trick for years later after swearing off the stunt by challenging another human ostrich to an eat-off at a Brooklyn gala. Dagmar Rothman was known as one of the greatest regurgitators of all time. He grew up in Germany just before the start of World War II and fell in love with the circus, particularly the sideshow acts who taught him how to swallow and bring up objects at will. He fled to Switzerland after Adolf Hitler invaded Austria and found a place for his art in nightclubs and theaters. A talent scout from America discovered him and brought him back to the States, where he became a sideshow legend. He also elevated the art of regurgitation by not only swallowing inanimate objects and bringing them back but by swallowing live animals such as white mice and frogs and bring them back up completely unharmed, at least not physically. Michel Lotito, a French entertainer known as Musur Mungitu, or Mr. Eat All, set world records by eating seemingly inedible metal objects from nails to bicycles. His career, however, started when he was diagnosed with pica. He learned of the condition after he accidentally swallowed a piece of glass in a swimming pool when he was 16. Since then, he ate bits of metal and glass to impress his friends and eventually turned the weird trick into a career, leading to his most impressive meal, a Cessna 150 light aircraft.